Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and in today's episode, I'll be getting to know Kim Witten, who's a transformational coach and research consultant who helps overwhelmed creatives turn their overthinking into expert thinking. So Kim, hello, and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Hi, Tom. It's so nice to be here. Thank you so much for coming. And just out of interest, whereabouts are you in the world right now? I am in sunny Manchester, England, although I realize I, my accent doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Not quite, but I love that you're in Manchester, an incredible part of the UK. Yep. Now, thank you so much for that. And I just want to just share a little bit more about you before we do get started. So Kim has 20 years of human-centered design experience, a PhD in linguistics, and an accredited diploma in transformational coaching. She's worn many hats over her career and helps people all over the world to master their mindset build their resilience and feel more confident so that they can create the life they really want and reach their high impact potential. The title for today's episode is how to stop getting in your own way and Kim's going to show us how to do that in just seven minutes. So question one for you today Kim is who are your ideal clients? Yes so these are typically overwhelmed creatives people who are tired of getting in their own way maybe they're playing small mm -hmm. um, maybe they lack focus you know things that they're trying to do in their life and they're probably feeling overwhelmed frustrated tired at, at present. Absolutely and I guess this feeling of being overwhelmed what challenges or well, how does that show up as challenges for them in their life? Yeah so maybe they're spending a lot of time um, working on things and what they're doing isn't really effective. They might feel like they're struggling to get ahead. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they're feeling that overwhelm. Along with that comes frustration, tiredness. They're probably not sleeping well. They might be stuck in these perfectionism, procrastination, imposter loops, and experiencing burnout, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, great. And I guess yeah, imposter loops, burnout, all those things you just mentioned there, that can have a, a significant impact for people. So can you think about what kind of an impact that might have for them, particularly in their business? Yeah. So the big one is that they're wasting time. What they're doing isn't as effective as it could be. Mm -hmm. And that also means that they're probably leaving money on the table. They might be missing opportunities. Um, and most importantly, because they're doing all of this in their work, they're missing out on quality time with their families. Uh, they're working late. They're trying to catch up. And then as a result of that, they might do, um, you know, staying up late, doing re revenge bedtime procrastination, mm -hmm. scrolling on their phone, you know, further robbing themselves of sleep. And then the cycle repeats again. And so not, that has a short term impact, but then also, you know, long term impact. I've not heard of that revenge bedtime procrastination, but now you <laughs> yeah. said it, I've definitely done that before. Yeah, um, we all and, relate. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you talk about obviously the pain points there, leaving money on the table, the impact of the business, but it actually, like you said, spills over into family life as well, which is really important to note. And obviously it means that they should focus on fixing that. So given that, what is one valuable piece of advice that you might give to somebody to really help them start to solve this problem in their life? Yeah. So one of the first things that I think is really helpful for people to do is to stop and take inventory of all of the things to make a, li a list mm -hmm. of all of the projects, tasks, activities, either in progress or that they're planning on doing. If it's taking up space in your head, put it on the list. And you can see yeah. once you do that, how much is going on and all of these things, because they're sitting in your head, they're, they're fighting for your time and your attention. But once you get them out on a list and make them visible, then you can triage them and you can say, okay, am I going to do dump, delegate or delay this? And mm. when you make a decision about that, that's a total game changer for people. Yeah, I love that. Especially the point about dump or delegate, because you don't necessarily have to do all these things that you feel so pressured to have to do. So yeah, yeah. I love that. Put them on paper in front of you or on a, on a platform and then yeah, you can choose what to do with them. So given that, um, yeah. what valuable free resource might you share with somebody to help them to solve this and to get started in, in that way? Yeah. So as a former creative myself, I create a lot of templates, tools, um, worksheets. And mm -hmm. so I've made a template for this project list to help you um, easily get all these projects out of your head, triage them. It walks you through it step by step. You can get that at witten.kim uh, slash planning. And uh, along with that, the, it's, it's one step as part of a three-step process. So mm -hmm. you'll get lots of other goodies as well. And that's going to help you save time. It's going to help you be more productive and free up some headspace. Amazing. 
Kim forward slash planning. I'll put that link into the show notes as well. Right. So people can just click on that and download. And I think I'll go and get download that myself after this recording is finished. <laughs> Great. And um, so one question I've got for you now, which may feel a little bit off topic is what would you say is one of the greatest mistakes or failures you've ever made either in life or in business? And what did you learn from it? Yeah. So I, um, I didn't go to college uh, right away. I waited several years and mm -hmm. then I decided I really wanted to go to UC Berkeley and I got, I was lucky enough to get in, but I kind of stopped once I got in and I didn't really yeah. apply myself mm -hmm. and I was essentially sitting on a winning ticket and I didn't realize it. So I didn't make the connections. I didn't even get really great grades. And that was a top school that I got into at the time. I just thought, Oh, this was the end of the road. And I wasn't going to go on and, and do more after I got that degree. Little did I know I would end up kind of staying in academia and going on all the way to the master's and PhD level. And, um, but it was a really hard road because yeah. at the time I just thought, oh, this is one, one step I'm done. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also reminds me too, because um, similar to that, I also bought 20 shares of Apple stock in 1999 yeah. and I sold them in the early 2000s. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was thinking about this question, I had both of those two answers. Yeah. And I think the thing that is the common element there is that it's really important to imagine the best possible scenarios for anything that you're doing mm -hmm. and operate from there because otherwise, like, so you want to work towards those. And if you don't, you may just end up settling for what's known and comfortable and either yeah. selling early or kind of giving up because you don't really have the dream or the foresight that you're going to actually go on and do these other things. Yeah, I, I love that. I think I've seen the image of the guy who stops just before hitting gold in the, the digging image. I don't know if you've seen that, um, but it's very <laughs> similar to that. And also reflected yeah. on that, you know, sitting on a, on a winning ticket. Um, a lot of us don't realize that until it's too late and we've maybe let that ticket go by yeah so, it's yeah. real hard work to catch up <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah really important reflections and I'm sure lots of people listening will reflect on that as well yeah. so the last question from me today is what is the one question that I should have asked you that will also bring some great value to our audience today yeah good question um I think it would be how and I get this one a lot how can I get some clarity and focus right now for free yeah okay how can we do that yeah. So I would recommend that they go sign up to my newsletter. It's called Hold That Thought. It's at witten.kim slash hold that thought. You get weekly insights worth sharing, plus all the resources that I create, a whole backlog of, of back catalog of stuff. Um, but that's going to help you on the weekly, um, small, digestible, digestible, really quick bursts of, of insight. And um, it's really focused around helping people get um, unstuck, make decisions, focus, get clear, save time, not miss Mate. those opportunities. Yeah, yeah, um, amazing. Hold that thought. I love the sound of the name as well. And I'll go and check that out. And what I'll do as well is I'll post a link to that in the show notes so people can click on that and then go and find out more about Hold That Thought. So Kim, thank you so much again for your time today. I really appreciate you coming along and sharing such great value with our audience. Thanks, Tom. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>